Welcome to the Google Earth and Bing Map Instruction video. When you're doing a site assessment, before heading out to the site, it is best to take a look at the property from an aerial view before the actual site visit. You can do this by using some of the free mapping programs that you can find on the internet. Two of the most popular are Bing Maps at bing.com and Google Earth at earth.google.com. I will show you the aerial view of Google Earth, which is a free software you can download. So let's take a look at Google Earth. To find the location you're doing your site assessment on, type in the address in the search window and then press the search button. and Google Maps will then take you to your site. You can see at the bottom of the image, it will give you the longitude and latitude and the elevation of the site, as well as the altitude of the current view. I am now going to zoom in and center on the site. You can do this by using the zoom bar the move around tool, and the look around tool. These tools are used to move around in Google Earth. You can also use your middle scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out to hold down the left mouse button and move the map the way you want to. It is important to remember that the look around tool always has the north marker telling you which direction is north. If your site is in an area on Google Earth that has 3D buildings, it is possible to get a street view of the property. Below the move around tool is the street view icon, which looks like a person. To enter this view, drag the street view icon to the location you want to take the street view from. Once there, you can navigate the street view and move around in the 3D view of the property. As you can see, the site that I'm using does not have the 3D view option. To exit, just hit the exit ground level view button. Once you have centered and zoomed in on your location, you can take this image and save it to your computer as a JPEG file. If you wish to remove the pin that shows the location, just hit the X button in the search window to remove it. When you have the image the way that you want it, you can select the file tab on the toolbar, hit the save option, and then select save image. This will bring up the save as window that you can use to save the image as a JPEG file anywhere on your computer. The saved JPEG file then can be used in your site assessment or manipulated to show the site plans. As you can see, the image I have from Google Earth at the site I am using does not have the detail I want for my site assessment. So I'm going to take a look at Bing Maps to see if I can get a better resolution for the site. This is Bing Maps. Just like Google Earth, Type in the address in the search window and then press the search button.
Bing Maps will then take you to your site. Now to get to an aerial view, click on the bird's eye drop box tab and select the aerial view. When you select an aerial view, you get an image just like Google Earth. The location I'm using for this demonstration has a better resolution in Bing Maps than it does in Google Earth. So I'm going to save this image as a JPEG file when I get to the zoom that I want. In the upper right hand corner, you have the zoom buttons and the navigation button. With north always pointing to the top of the map. Unlike Google Earth, where you are able to move around and have north facing a different direction. Now I want to zoom in and center on the site to get the image that I want. In the right hand corner is the zoom and navigation buttons, which you use to move around in Bing Maps to get the desired image of the site. You can also use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and hold the left mouse button to drag the image and move it around. Now I'm going to save the image as a JPEG file. Bing does not have the same function like Google Earth does, where you can select the Save Image button on the toolbar. In Bing, you have a few different steps you need to take. When you have the image of your site the way you want it, press the Print button and you will get a different tab in your window. Here you will see the address you typed in and two images. One image is a far away view of the area around your site. The other is a closer view of the site. It might not be the same resolution as you had it. Bing gives you the closest image to the resolution you want. This is the best image that you will get from Bing. As you can see, the image is clearer than the Google Earth image I saved before. So I'm going to save this image and use it instead. So from this window tab, just right click the image and select Save as Image. And select the name and file you want to save it into. And Bing Maps will then save it as a JPEG file. Bing, like Google Earth, also has the capability to look at the site from a street view in 3D if it is available. Close the Print tab and go back to the Bing Maps tab. When in Aerial View or the Bird's Eye View, you can select the Street Side button and select where you would like the street view. You just click on the street side view and move the icon to where you want the street view. As you can see, this site does not have the option for a street view. To get out of this view, just click on the street side view button again. The other three mapping programs have the same functions and are similar to Google Earth and Bing. So this tutorial should also help use those programs. This is the end of the Google Earth and Bing Map instructional video.